St. Louis's hidden gem. It's in Forest Park. It's called the Jewel Box. Travel across America with me. Wait till you see the lily palms. Although not a part of the 1904 World's Fair, also known as the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, Forest Park is filled with fabulous exhibits and buildings from the 1904 World's Fair. But the Jewel Box is a recent occurrence. It's from maybe 1920? We'll see. But we find it in Forest Park. It may be America's best park. It's filled with free activities and attractions. It is Forest Park and one of the great public spaces in America. It is St. Louis's big backyard, home to extraordinary natural areas, restored historic landmarks, and world-class cultural institutions, hundreds of species of wildlife, and endless opportunities for recreation and relaxation in the 1,371-acre park. And guess what? It attracts more than 13 million visitors each year. This is the Jewel Box. Well, what is the Jewel Box exactly? I'll tell you in a minute, but you won't want to miss it. If you're in St. Louis, this is St. Louis's hidden gem. During the winter of 1916-1917, Forest Park head gardener John Moritz turned a small section of one of the park's greenhouses into a formal display featuring water, flowers, and benches for relaxation and escape from the wintry weather. And voila, the jewel box was born. Let's go inside to see hanging plants, palm trees, ferns. Let me show you around. They're not just any ferns or palms. They're king sagas. There's a floral display, hanging baskets, dwarf Japanese yew pines, Australian tree ferns, orange bird of paradise, a pygmy date palms, dwarf oyster plants. Simply gorgeous. Walk around. I think they charge a dollar to go in. It's simply worth it to help maintain this gorgeous gem in St. Louis. It's a hidden gem in St. Louis. It's the jewel box. We walked around and then we went up this flight of stairs to a small balcony to overlook this enchanting green. Let's go outside and see more of the plants that are part of the property of the Jewel Box, St. Louis Hidden Gem. The Jewel Box, awe-inspiring beauty and an engineering feat. When the Jewel Box was dedicated in 1936, crowds flocked to experience its magnificent Art Deco design. The structure's unique construction of cantilevered glass supported by arch steel beams also proved a groundbreaking, but not glass-breaking, technical achievement. In 1938, a hailstorm broke a thousand panes of glass in Forest Park's greenhouses, but not one in the jewel box. A major 2002 renovation transformed the interior into an open, sunlit space ideal for quiet moments or distinctive weddings. Surrounding the structure are other can't-miss sites, including a bronze sundial, granite and wrought iron gates, and a statue of St. Francis of Assisi. Stroll around and pay them a visit. The Jewel Box is among dozens of significant landmarks, landscapes, and natural areas restored and maintained through the public-private partnership of the City of St. Louis and Forest Park forever. Don't forget to subscribe. I told you, it's a hidden gem. It's the Jewel Box. The lily ponds at the Jewel Box are carefully planned, planted, and maintained by the St. Louis Water Garden Society as a gift to the people of St. Louis. 
and to the thousands of guests visiting our beloved city. They look fake, don't they? Simply gorgeous. Now there is one other place that was not a part of the 1904 World's Fair, but it is called, for some reason, the World's Fair Pavilion. It's found at Government Hill. We stopped by there after visiting the Jewel Box. The World's Fair Pavilion was built in 1909. Remember, the World's Fair was in 1904. And it was built with proceeds from the 1904 World's Fair held here in Forest Park. Government Hill's colorfully lit fountain and reflecting pool were added in 1930. The fountain and the pool were not working the day we were there. While the entire area had fallen into disrepair by mid-century, a transformative renovation between 1998 and 2007 restored it to its former glory. That is such a great thing, don't you think? Throughout this special park location. Inscribed bricks commemorate the support thousands of donors have provided to restore and maintain iconic treasures. Forest Park is truly a treasure in St. Louis. It's their big backyard. Have you taken a minute to subscribe? If not, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. Have you ever been to Forest Park? What was your favorite place in the park? Tell me in the comments below. There's so much to see in St. Louis. And there's so much to see about and around the 1904 World's Fair. And there is always the St. Louis Zoo. It's America's number one zoo. I'll be taking you there and not only to see some of the fun animals, but also to see some of the gorgeous buildings that were a part of the 1904 World's Fair and subsequent buildings. They all look like old world buildings. The architecture is from the old world. It's simply incredible to see. There is a loop trolley that takes you around the park. It's free sometimes and sometimes there's a charge. It's sort of like the park is advertised as everything's free. Well, not everything is free. Like the jewel box, they ask for a dollar to go in and then this trolley charges every once in a while to go to the zoo. You do have to pay parking and we paid 15 bucks. There may have been cheaper parking somewhere else, but then when we went to the jewel box, we just parked on the street. While camped at Sundemeyer RV Park in St. Charles, we visited the first state capital in St. Charles, the Cahokia Mounds near Collinsville. And have you watched world's largest ketchup bottle? In Collinsville? Is it ketchup or catsup? You tell me. Well, I know what I think. We also went to a National Historic Site, the Ulysses S. Grant National Historic Site. Wait, you see his lime green house and the Gateway Arch. Yes, we rode to the top. This was our third time to go to the top. It is so worth it. And next door is the Basilica St. Louis, King of France. Across the street from that is the old courthouse. I think they've been working on this thing for years. And other old world buildings in downtown St. Louis. Wait till you see those. And of course, in Forest Park, I'll take you to the History Museum and to the zoo and a few other places like this, the hidden gem, the jewel box, Forest Park. America's best park, maybe? I don't know. I guess the people in Manhattan would argue. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend about my channel.